as we take a look at the tail of the tape for this welterweight bout scheduled for three. Nurmagomedov, 27 years of age, 171, the equal weight and reach to Matt Secor, who is 30 years of age, and his only advantage really on the numbers is he is 6'1". Both very talented fighters, both of them double-digit appearances in the professional ranks as they get set to meet here inside the Decagon at Turning Stone Casino. For the official introductions, here's Jazz Securo. Your referee is Big Dan Mergliata. Big Dan, look at him. Big Dan not surfing the internet with those glasses. That no. is for ref cam. We call it Big Dan cam. <laughs> and he will get us all kinds of great angles throughout the fight. You should really enjoy what you're about to see. And not only that, but guys, the technology and the matchup. As we go right on board, Big Dan, as we get underway in this welterweight bout. Nurmagomedov made off in the blue trunks. Secor coming out firing in the red trunks. Secor's got seven submission victories. Nurmagomedov's got seven knockouts. So you would think you know the game plan here, right? Yeah, it would, it would keep seem it apparent that yep. Secor's going to want to close the distance and get his hands on Abu. <laughs> up, up, up. Abu Bakar. Abu Bakar. Oh, big oh, right right hand. Hand. Well, hold really on. Let me, let me count the point. numbers, the letters. We got an poke in the eye, eye poke, yeah, to the right, right eye of Nurmagomedov. Watch your fingers, okay? Keep them up and keep them in a fist. Don't put them forward, all right? Last warning. Time, ready? Let's go, fight. It's completely inadvertent by Matt Secor as he was coming forward, pawing at the fighter, his opponent, and the finger caught the left eye. No harm, no foul. Big Dan gives the warning. We're back to fighting. Watch your fingers. Nice low kick by Nurmaga, but then he gets a, a better one the favor. <laughs> yeah. A nicer Sick one. Or. Oh! Yes. The sound of that. Yeah, Holy that's... cow. Hey, you know, Sikor, he, he just gave, us, he gave it up. He said, okay, it's okay, I'm a good, I'm falling on my back, I'll put you in my guard, so he's going to look for a submission. I love the takedown. Isolating by... an arm now, we're going to look for him to climb to, to try and choke. Yep, there, there he comes. comes. This. There it Here is. Here it comes, this could be big trouble. Robert Sikor is slick the way he set that up, guys. Yeah, no more commander needs to get out right now, as he is doing. Back in through the, through the legs, back in the, to full guard. You know, if you train with Habib every day, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you probably, would know yeah. you learn some tricks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not going to fall for that easy. There's one. another one coming. Look at that. He's constantly Working going. the other side now. And that's why from his eight victories, Segura has uh, seven submissions. So you will see him constantly attacking with submissions. Oh. Again, Omoplata attempt to use the escape. Oh. Right in. Oh, that will be something. Down. He's going for it. Can he push him back though? He needs to throw. Oh, he's got a figure four in his leg. It's nicely, but trying to off balance Nurmagomedov. Megoff. That is a mouthful of that name. You got it. 12 levels. I just counted it. Nice <laughs> peel on the feet. Can I look to clear no, that leg fence, now? Fence, yeah, it's easy. Warm for putting his fingers through the fence. He cannot grab the fence. Offensively or defensively. So finally, a positive position for Norman Madoff as Secor spins into another, another fishing leg lock expedition. Here. Yep, well, it's going to be hard for this Twisting side. Heel it's, hook. it's a normal one, normal heel hook, not an inverted. He's going to bring, if he's going to buck backwards and then bring the leg over to the other side, the foot over to the other side, he can do an inverted heel hook, which is much more hard to escape for his opponent. Great Norman defense. Mike, Mike, Mike. Abu Bakar back on top again now, out of the leg lock attempt. Secor staying busy, seeing boxing the ears of Nurmagomedov. Abu Bakar coming over with the big elbows. Under 90 seconds to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Again, posture up, start waiting down strikes. Just for the judges. Do some damage. Looking for Kimura, it's not working. Looking for a side choke, maybe. Sikor puts his left arm too high. But he knows exactly what goes on. This half guard position is a good position for Abu Bakar. He does a nice job of controlling Sikor here. 
Okay, Swamp Dude needs to damage. Gotta keep working. Gotta keep working, man. Come on. Yeah, but the thing is, it's it's a normal heal. Okay. Okay. It, it, it's it's easy to escape. You gotta bring leg over to the other side, go for an inverted one. It's harder to escape for the opponent. Look at this. Seacor saying, "Come on down." It's like let's wrestle with an octopus. And <laughs> Nurmagomedov says, "I've seen enough of that show. We're gonna back up. up. Let's just stand yeah. up and strike." You had to go Thai boxing the eight the, the art of eight limbs, but it's so it's yeah. blood fighting if you think about it. Final 20 seconds of this one, round number one, scheduled for three. Oh, oh, and Seacor is wobbling. A little overhand Seacor right. Is that was wobbly. crazy. A little overhand right, and it hurt him. Well, you see, that you can tell. If you hit somebody at the perfect moment, he's trying to hold on for these final five seconds. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Mercy. Yep. Matt Seacor. Almost a delayed reaction. Holding on. Look how he walks back. Marcelino from Amsterdam, New York. A lot of fighters in that fluid transition period, boss, and it's, it's a scary right, time. Right, and right, he obviously right, did right. himself well Let's by go. getting a win here and makes mm -hmm. himself certainly more attractive to the organization to re-sign him. Again, with the big overhand right by Nurmagomedov. Give you the overhead view now. Oh, oh, oh. And again, Secor takes a shot and goes into survival mode. It's The chin is up, you know? Bring that chin down. You have a shoulder, and the shoulder can protect it. Use it. Makabedov knows that he cannot make any mistake right now. Yeah. He's staying right on him, doesn't give him any space, because he knows the submission can be slapped on any moment if he opens up. Kimura attempt, and I think Seiko is thinking more of that as a sweeping. Yeah, but his right leg is already out there, so he needed really his right leg to stop that left leg from his opponent in order to use it as a sweep. Half guard now from the big front. That's the best car. position. Yep. He's doing a great job, boss, is Abu Bakar, because he's just closed that distance, really not giving Seekor much to work with. Yeah, but he can simply posture up also and start throwing down some strikes, some, some heavy strikes. You know, you go up, strike, 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 go back down. Control. Well, here we go again for that attempt. Seekor is going for the Kimura the whole time. Remember, the Madoff has really had great success when it's been on its feet striking with Secor, and this seems to be more Matt Secor's world down on the ground. Constantly fishing for some Brazilian jiu-jitsu. There's the leg lock attempt again. Yeah. Oh, oh, he might have a surprise something. But again, oh, like I said, out. it's a hard one to pull up. If I was Newman Mugamadoff, I'd keep it on the feet. Yeah, absolutely. He's had great success there and immediately goes back to the ground. Under two and a half to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three in the welterweight division. Abubakar and Margamadoff in the blue trunks, Matt Seaport in the red trunks. Relying primarily on his jiu-jitsu to score points and possibly looking for submission of his 11 fights. He's got six victories by way of submission. Again with the half guard, Nico Madoff happy to sit in that half guard. Yeah, but what, why not get up, right? Or just walk away, man. You're better on your feet. Why would you even be there? Wow, Sequel just taking the shots, looking for some kind of opening. There we go again. Back to the triangle. Just locking the body up. But at that point, Nico Madoff could just ride this thing out, can he? Well, he got, he's already he's got his left hand in between, so there's nothing. And no danger. Do. Nope. Big dance about ready to stand these boys up. 
again. Yeah, triangle right. again. Have Good a leg control by Abu Bakar. Push to the side, go to the side, mount, start raining knees to the shoulder. Try right to mount, try to mount. What about that? Full mount now. Now we're probably going to see how easy it is to go to escape it. You see? Oh, here we go. Slid right into it again. Yeah, but bring the leg to the other side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to escape this. Yeah. Boss Rutten getting frustrated, wanted to pull his hair. He doesn't have any hair to pull out, but he's getting, if he did, he'd be pulling it out. I would be pulling it. It happened a long time ago. I saw a fight and I pulled all my hair out. Handsome oh. man, that Boss Rutten. Good solid top position from other Bukhar here. But again, we're talking about 20 seconds. I, I'm with you though, Boss. I don't know why he doesn't just stand up and say, let's get this to a striking match, because he's clearly a more dominant fighter standing up. Yep. Final 10 here in round number two. All right, break. So any of those three fights. Yep. Now you see Big Dan Mergliata in the middle of it with ref cam. And I tell you what, Nurmagomedov Madoff has done a fantastic job as we go how many triangles, how many leg locks, locks, attempts, leg locks has yeah. he been after? Yeah. He's just defended them all. All right, third and final round, gentlemen, I'll ask you, start with you, Randy Couture. If you're in the corner of Matt Secor, what do you need to do to turn the tide here? Well, I mean, he's got to keep doing, he, he's, he's getting hit on his feet, and, he, and he's right, doing sir, a good job sir, of pulling this fight to the ground and continuing to work there and be active on the bottom. He's, he's pretty slick, he's pretty tricky. Hopefully, I mean, he's got to keep doing that. He's, he's losing the fight, in my opinion, at this point, but he's been pretty slick. And boss in the corner of Nurmagomedov, what are you telling your fighter? Stand up. Yeah, there Don't you go. Don't even go to the ground. He just heard you. Just there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? Look at that. Wow. He's much better on his feet. Stay on your feet. And, and if I was the corner of Sikor, I would say get him in the guard. Let's check Don't in quickly him. with a two-time Olympic gold medalist, Kayla Harrison. Hi guys, yep, I was just in Matt Secor's corner and his shoulders hurt pretty bad, but his coaches are telling him, you've got to fight, you've got to stand up, we're down, go make something happen. So they're being very honest with him, telling him he's down, he's got oh, four minutes to make something happen, and he takes another shot, trying to lure Norma Madoff into a ground game, and Abu Bakar has, and does not want anything to do with that. Yep, and Abu Bakar Madoff, I guarantee you, his corner said what I said, do not go to the ground. No Stay reason. Up. Absolutely no reason for him to go there, and his striking has been extremely effective. He should have done it all three runs. Now it's going to be a toss-up also, because Sikor, you know, he, he, he attacked a lot on the ground, and you should count the attack. Sure. It's the same as a strike you go to feed. If you constantly attack, you know, even when it's unsuccessful, you're the aggressor. Absolutely. He's, he's controlling the, the tempo of the fight, yeah. even though he's on the ground and on the bottom. Exactly. But, but a lot of referees don't, do don't recognize that. Yeah. There you go. So annoying. I have a feeling both of you have experience in that, but we won't go into that. That's a story for another time. <laughs> in Japan, they would. In Japan, they, they, you know, they award you for it. Look at that. Yeah. So much better. Just keep standing there, dude. Great head movement there by Nurga Madoff. And there it is. Yeah, Matt Secor doing what yeah, he needs to up. do. He's trying to do whatever he can do to bring there this fight down. You see? Referee tells so the, the corner, walk away. That's it. This is going to win this round. They're going to off, continuing to circle. Well, that was a good shot right there. You heard Kayla Harrison report about the shoulder and again. Secor. He probably does not want to throw punches. Wow, double shot right to the face. <laughs> Under two and a half to go in this fight. As you get set to join us live on NBCSN, 11 o'clock Eastern, late night fighting, World Series of Fighting 35, and Abubakar just casually walks away. That was that hit, I guarantee you, he hit him on the jaw, and that's why he dropped in his legs. I, I really think that he got hurt. You remember round number one yeah. when he got dropped with that really weird hook? Yeah. 
But guys, from, from a fighter's perspective, it's got to be, I mean, that's discipline. That one with him, too. He's hurt, right hurt right now. He's hurt right now. And look and at again, that. Even yeah, when he can probably finish gonna make the him fight. Stand up. Smart because he Super smart. draws him into a game where he can protect himself and he's very active. But he's hurt. He is hurt for sure. You would think left high kick. Yep. That would be a, that would be a duck hunt now. Left so, high kick. Look at this. Oh, guys, nice is this uppercut. is this stoppage worthy? Not Look quite. Yet. He's still moving. He's still protecting himself. Secor is a tough customer, continuing to come forward despite the injured shoulder, despite his best weapon, the ground game, unable to be effective because Abu Bakar will not engage with him down there. I would throw a highlight reel left high kick if I was the one, but that one, but high. <laughs> right? to the body this one. There it is. You're the puppet master. <laughs> so now Secor has. 50 plus seconds to see if he can work some magic here and make one of these jiu-jitsu moves stick to Nurmagomedov. Gets a half guard now. He's got more chance because Nurmagomedov should have never allowed this. He should have should simply stand up. up stand up. Yeah. Man. Clear your head and stand up. Go ahead. Triangle choke attempt. Yeah, well, we know this is not going to happen. He's got to have it. He's got to lock down. Never said that, but look at this. Look at this, 30 seconds. Can he do so? That would be something. Man, I love this. No, nope, he's out. Popped his head through. It was good, though. Stand up now. Yeah. He needs to stand up. Yeah, because right now he's giving him the There points. he goes. There you go. Finally, he listens to Boss Rutten and Randy Couture. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this fight. You don't know what these Dagestan trainers say. You go one time to the ground. <laughs> and break your leg. <laughs> you know? So we go the full three rounds. Abu Bakar, Nurmagomedov, and Matt Secord. Huge props to Secord. Probably not going to get the win, guys. But uh, even with the last minute to go when he was looking to be soundly defeated, he got him in a situation where if he could have made that jiu-jitsu stick, he could have got the stoppage. Absolutely. That was, that was tight. It was locked in. Nurmagomedov did a nice job of squeezing out of there. They're good. Dan Mergliata rocking the ref cam tonight. They're going to probably try to copyright that Big Dan cam. And if we Big give Dan you, cam. Big, you, uh, <laughs> give you a look inside with a ref cam, multiple the angles. BDC. And a lot of that being covered from up above. And you see the frustration on the face of Matt Secor. As Kayla Harrison reported, injury to the shoulder, but he fought through hard in the third and final round and yes. not lay down on this one. You know, if a fighter in the corner tells that his shoulder is hurting, it's always way worse than it really is because the adrenaline will take care of that pain. Sure. So that means Absolutely he's going to sure. have a problem. So it's a really tough thing for him that he kept fighting. Round number one, this was a good one. It comes out very explosive and immediately support trying to get this, this one to the left. ground. Yeah, Look at see that was that hook. The long left hook. Damage done in round one. Round two spent much of the time, guys, on the ground. And then in round three, Nurmagomedov made up, got the couture rootin memo. Stay on your feet until the very end. There's That's triangle. it. Good solid triangle attempt by Sikor. So the head pops out, and that was the end of that after three rounds of great fighting in the welterweight division. The official decision is in, and for that, we set it in to Jazz Sikor. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we once again go to the judges' scorecards. Judge David Torelli scores at 29-28. Todd Anderson and David Bruth both score at 30-27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, Abubakar Nurmagomedov! Looks like the right shoulder of Sekor is, is what's injured. I wonder what he did. If it was on that kick that he got wobbled or...